It's Nick Mesny here with Andy Morrison after the Nomads 4 0 victory away at Barristan United. Andy, a fantastic performance today. Great performance, Nick. Um, we, we had a game plan coming into the game. I thought we were very good until, you know, the sending off. We got our noses in front, 1 0 up, and uh, really pleased with the way we moved the ball on the counter attack. You know, we wanted to allow them to have the ball to try and you know, create two on two when we won the ball back. And, you know, it was a great, great bit of play where we broke from midfield and, you know, um, Bax just put a great ball in and Wilde is in the right position. You know, of course, the sending off changes the game. Mm. And the, the main point on that is we've scored at in, incredibly good times to two nil and then the three, third just before half time. It makes it very difficult for them to stay in the game then. You know, they come out, we've got the fourth early, but, you know, all, all I can say is I've been in that position myself where I've been four nil down and down to 10 men and you want your men to stand up and be men and, and Barry did. Barry worked incredibly hard. Um, they were relentless in their running and you know doing the jobs of two or three men, individual men at the time, which made it hard for us to break them down. Um, but you know, at that point then it's, it's important about a clean sheet, Nick. Um, but you know, like I say, in, incredible respect for Barry for, for how hard they worked in that game that could get ugly if they go and lose their shape and lads aren't gonna cover the ground. You know, it, they begin to open up, but they were very solid. The result last weekend against TNS, perhaps not exactly what you were after. Is today the perfect way to bounce back from that? You know, you, you want to come back from, a, you know, the, the result was, was decent, but the performance wasn't great. You know, we've, um, we've looked at things this week and we've worked incredibly hard this week, which we do. Um, and we come into the game against Barry knowing it's going to be a very difficult game. They're a very good team and I've got nothing but respect for, for, for Gavin Chesterfield. And, and I put that down to um, Nick, that he's actually, you know, he's built his team. Mm. The same as me, he's built his team from nothing, you know, and he's built it over a period of years. And I think with that, Nick, comes humility. I think if you're fortunate enough to drop on a big job, I think, you know, you haven't come through the knocks and the setbacks and you sometimes your ego gets a little bit carried away with you. You know, where uh, if I could give you an analogy, Nick, it would be, you know, you've got two millionaires and one millionaire has come from the factory floor. Yeah. He's worked his way to the very top and he's a millionaire. And then you've got the lad who inherited his money from daddy. Now, nobody's got a problem with that. But when the one who inherited the money starts driving around in a Rolls Royce, smoking a big cigar, telling everybody how wonderful he is, then people tend to just clip his wings a little bit and say, you know, come back down to earth. You know, you are where you are because um, you, her you inherited your money from daddy. So, you know, so, so show some humility. And, um, and that's what we've got in the, in the Welsh League. You know, you look at the managers who have worked their way up, myself, Chris um, at um, Newtown. Um, Colin's been in there for years, but started from nothing. So there's a lot of character in there. Erds at um, Carnarvon has come through the leagues. And, um, and I think that creates humility, you know, and I think that creates a, a respect for other managers and understanding just how difficult it can be for them. You mentioned Chris at Newtown, obviously we're going to be facing them next weekend. A really tough challenge, obviously. He's drew there earlier in the season, so we know what sort of a result. What, yeah, exactly. Another really? Again, another manager I've got incredible respect for. You know, he's been out there six years and they were cannon fodder, really, when he went there, Chris. And, you know, he's taken him into Europe. He's won games in Europe. He's had to build two or three teams and he's always, he's always created a fantastic team. Um, that are very competitive and, and always cause us problems. Again, 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 a very humble man who, um, again, has started at the bottom and worked his way up. And uh, again, great respect for him. And, and I know it's going to be a tough game as it always is against Newtown. You know, we never get an easy fixture against them. Um, you know, to wrap it up, Nick, really delighted with the result. Really pleased. I thought, um, I thought everybody stuck to what we wanted early on. I didn't want the lads to feel as though they were being outpassed and there was a lack of possession in there. I wasn't worried about that because I knew that they'd feel that early on in the game that um, we're not really at it, but the shape was solid, which gave us something to grow into as the game went on and uh, scored at great times. But no, let me finish again by um, fantastic respect to Barry because to be in that position and then boys work as hard as they did, utmost respect.